Very it's, important. It's the one. It's the one and only. Not Forest Estuary, yes, Mitch. <laughs> Swamp Estuary. Swamp Estuary, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, we see the immediate change in game plan when it comes, uh, when the difference between Wobbin and Akashi here. Just Akashi, a lot more focused on uh, initial zoning, using the uh, side platforms of Merchant to throw out some almost free horizontal pressure, forcing Lucius to stop moving and to crouch cancel yeah. or jump. Then you can turn all of that, any sort of commitment that you see from Lucius, you can turn it into advantage, which we're seeing with Cloudplay and more, most prominently have been up airs, but Lucius holding on to a. Uh, what was initially a pretty strong edge guard before Kashi decided to go high? Oh, nair, interesting. Yeah, trying but... to, I guess, find something <laughs> like that. Like, see what rising nair can get you. Oh, it got me situational advantage? That's all I need. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> interesting. That crowd play is going to be pretty necessary. Reacts too late as Lucius is just taking the time to chill. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard. Like, it's absolutely you should just back off. No, don't like, want to risk accidentally jumping into it somehow. This is the wave went forward. Waits up the pair. That could have been an up strong, but good wait nonetheless. Okay. It's that new age Vrano that you were mentioning earlier, Cyber, where the Lucius <laughs> is just extra movement, uh, hit fall from up air one, uh, wave land everywhere you can. You abuse what makes this character broken as much as possible and save your jump for good measure, but Ooh. it's hard to get around with Absa, Absa up air and Akashi waits to react perfectly. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just immediately entering back with an up air of his own. Yeah, I almost never see Rono's complete up air one too, but I guess that's like, a, like more Squanto theory where it's like, hey, sometimes you don't need to get fancy. The up air one two still takes stocks and Absa isn't the heaviest. Yeah, for sure. Bring back and forth. A couple dash attacks and miss uh, gets it nets them a parry as Akashi continues to look for some sort of starter here. As the crowd pops off for yet more matches happening in the background, Akashi and Lucius are playing a, a game with just one upsmanship all the way through it. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a good lead for Lucius, to say the least. Because Rano can just kind of chill and like kind of needle Absa's approaches. Yeah, we've seen a lot of single needle come out from Lucius since. Like, it's just so good as an immediate answer to Cloud and an immediate answer to any sort of drift in approaches. Mix that in with not only the crouch cancels, but also pre uh, it also preps Rano's super jump. Ooh. Ah, yeah. What a back -air? turnaround! Able to find such a low back air, but the tech is there. Akashi having to stall, but Absa can make it back. Uh, refreshes the resources on the ledge. Mm hmm. Yeah, good recovery from Akashi. There's just so many options you have. And ooh. Yeah, that was tough. Just the instant upbeat. I kind of get the idea, but I ended up getting him killed. It's tough. Mm -hmm. Lucius was doing such a good job, uh, especially because those added platforms give you um, a multitude of locations to refresh resources. Akashi felt uh, Lucius was doing a, a good job of finding places to reset, going for these rising nares, and Basically, it was just full-on coverage with Rano's uh, needles, as mentioning. But most of the time, it was like full hop nairs. That too. Doing so yeah, Lucius uses so much nair. Yeah. Like I feel like more than most Rano's do. Pretty good move. And it is a good move. Yeah. Good move. Out of Rano's <laughs> use it a lot anyway. And Lucius <laughs> still uses it more. Nair percentage go. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Interesting stall there with the with the bubble, as this is honestly shaping up to be a long set. Even if it is a 3-0 in one character in one player's favor or the other, yeah, it's been a lot of back and forth and a <gasps> lot of danger as he's able to get a refresh and the cloud. That was brilliant. That the was the so sour beautiful. spots, like I don't know how on purpose it was, but the sour spots moved Lucius out of the area where he could DI in a bubble. Like, that was so smart. So poignant and, and able to find the follow up with Cloud after he knew he couldn't extend further. Ugh, that's, I mean, this is a benefit of a uh, stage like Treetop. You just have so much room to get people off stage very quickly. Right. Forward it comes uh, here in. it is again. Any drift back and you die. Absolutely, air drift is really bad. Like without in free fall, of course. Yeah. Had to force that, though. It's good, good stuff from Lucius just to. Keep it simple. Like, I'm going to stop you from getting where you want to be. Yeah. Four tilt one, two. 
preps all um, preps on the ground, but Lucius is able just to turn the smallest things into so much damage. And a lot of the poignant crouch canceling that's coming in from Lucius, just little things and little movements whenever they're in neutral, forcing Akashi to deal with that and either hit him super low or not interact at all. Right. Forwarder hits Bubble, which Oh does. boy. The Akashi line almost getting killed. But... <laughs> okay, that stock was gone. It's... Never mind, it was a setup all along. <laughs> outplayed, outsmarted, out gamed on, I don't know. Outmaneuvered. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, another back air. Back air. Yeah, 20 over percent extra credit isn't too much. I would say better than nothing, but here we go. Akashi gonna turn it up. 57. I wonder if that up strong was meant to catch a link, uh, falling nair out of hit stun from Lucius. Either way, it's it turned into 61 and that uh, stock yeah. is finally gone on the on the part of Akashi. Needing a little bit more, but a quick 17. And we'll see the Akashi line working out. That one wasn't too bad, but still. All right, what are we getting? Wow, just one missed turnaround turned into a full, uh, full suite of combos. And again, getting caught by the side B. Able to pop out of the bubble quickly, but both these players now looking around. Last percentage, the wall jump forward air, but the Akashi line comes in. Yeah. Again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, good tack. Good tack. Tech keeps it alive. The back air misses in exchange. Gets back air from Lucius, who's brought this game back to completely even. No risk. Not risking the up B. It just goes for fair. Wow, they got by with that with just the quick double recovery, not trying to yeah. give Lucius any time to think. <gasps> no, okay. Okay, okay. I was going to be upset if that plot armor came in. <laughs> yeah, because the, the bubble does give Akashi enough time for two kill moves. Gee, Billy, your mom gives you two kill moves. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, okay, that was scary. But Akashi holding on to that game. To, to make it 1-1. One, one. You yeah. can see just the, the, the sigh of relief, yeah. Rano, it, oh man, the, the Tempest pick Tempest, from Luz. Woo! Oh, we are here, but it's so but, good for Absa too. Yeah, it's <laughs> best stage in the game. It is her home stage. Yeah, it is, Absa house. Enter, enter temple. Who are the, who are the little statue people? I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't think know. anyone knows. Oh boy, <laughs> three stack tongue. A third? A fourth? No fourth? Yeah, no. No extension, but that's still a lot of damage. And <laughs> Aerial out. Tongue is so good, dude. It's so good. Just keeps on it keeps on working against so many players that the aim with the almost slight aimbot on it as well. No, like, drift, yeah, like, maybe not there, but they're like if it it could latch to a ledge, they're like I think there literally is some aimbot on it. Like if it if it could latch to a ledge, but there's a player standing on the ledge. Then it lashes at the player. It's like, come on. <laughs> come on, man. I've seen it too many times. All right, and Tempest just, just gives you so much room to almost go for those aerial tongues for free. Gets a parry, but wall jump by is... Yeah, I'm, these two are playing around that left plat so boldly. It, it, the, ex, the access of an extra platform like that, it, it, I guess, quote-unquote, artificially extends the stage length, and both of these two love that. Yeah, it's it's so weird. Um, you really gotta learn how to play on this stage. But once you do, it's good for a lot of characters. It can be a little bit defensive in some regard as that stock almost falls <laughs> early, but the Akashi line, there it is. He was dead if that was fairy. Just actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it's Lucius who dies instead as um, we bring it to a two-stock game on both sides. I guess Akashi is just really taking advantage of the fact that Lucius is choosing and more often than not as yet another uh, aerial, aerial tongue comes in. Um, but Lucius is choosing to jump in response to a lot of Akashi's setups and pressure a lot more often. I'm, oh no. Ooh. That could have been a deadly reversal. And it kind of sort of was. Yeah, just not in the way that, you ex that any of us expected. Yeah, it's, it's a reversal for Akashi, oh boy. Down air. Oh, go for the pass fall. I kind of noticed, like, Akashi's, um... <gasps> no way, that killed. Don't kill me. I'm going to DI out like a smart player. Yeah, we see it, Akashi. <laughs> oh, that's... Wow. Uh -oh. And that's tough, right? That was, what percent was that? 22? A little higher? 22 no, before 20. the hits? <laughs> no questions. No questions asked. Yeah, I guess that was, like, you have to SDI. Yeah. 
Well, well oof. yeah, um, either way, I guess you could have the... held in maybe and just like tried to bounce well, yeah, off okay. the stage. If you, if you hold in, if you didn't hold out, you would have bounced off the stage. Yes. Um, that, that was the other situation. But I guess that was actually why in Galaxy. Yeah. But either way, Jules Bell is a really interesting pick, Lucius. I feel like I see him go here a lot. But this is a really good Alpha stage. I would be scared counter picking Alpha here. Yeah, the, the amount of uh, space that Alpha can control is just so much. And you don't have platforms to augment your movement and Cloud just. The offensive placements of Cloud, like, while Akashi has been very forward on his ledge play and uh, going for going for a lot more of like F tilt 1 twos and mix, uh, mix ups off of ledge. It has been Cloud that has just been so much of a thorn in Lucius' side. Mm -hmm. See, Cloud chases the jump. Cloud forces the uh, drift back and forth, and yeah, Cloud and like Rado doesn't have good air drift, so yeah. being able to control that is just insanely powerful. Just a dash attack there, popping the club, but missing the punish is. It looks like Lucius was, uh, Akashi was going for some sort of like jab setup instead of just going for the rock down strong. Right. Here we go, Nair. Again, these Nairs to the fair. It's like, I guess the idea is maybe hitting Nair is better than uh, Sour Fair, but it's very interesting. You don't, I feel like there are a lot of runners that just don't really do that. Ooh, Good okay, wait on the part jump. of Lucy. So, yeah, waiting, waiting out the the stacks and uh, properly punishing after, uh, properly punishing the updrift from uh, Kami. Yeah, I like these Cloud Pops, just kind of catching the landings, trying to make it to Lucius. It cannot land. The projectiles aren't gonna. St yeah, actually, nothing stops that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, as you were mentioning, Cyber, just the poor air drift. Like even with the proper stall, you just can't get by. As oh, I wanted a rising there, there, but instead gets the parry for his troubles anyway. Like yeah, it's all coming up loose. It's all coming up Akashi right now, and the Lucius is in a. He's in a desperate Ooh. position, just like that forward air. Yeah, and okay, tries for the bear. It's got air dodge from Lucius. Laughed in percent at this point, and an up air. Doesn't hit, but the idea is there. Uh, trying to mix up with the platform movement, use it to your advantage. Go, goes in for a plat drop, fair. Trying to spice out with these needles, force Akashi into awkward positions, but these reversals continue to be a thorn in Lucius' side. That would have been sick, but he just missed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go, that fair spike, nope, not setting up for anything. And here we go, Akashi reversing the situation once again. This has just been reversals all over, but... Yeah, and there's again, there's a lot of play on the left side of the screen. Like, they're just throwing each other off stage. It's like a, like a funny juggling act. This time they're juggling people as the delay. Yeah. Going for forward air. Forward air 2 does take it. Mm -hmm. All right, 110. You had that platform for a moment, used all the resources, but are able to get back to the floor, as I think we know what Akashi wants here. <laughs> yeah, it's never... Oh, boy, goodbye. Finally, Man. end of the set with a parry on the aerial tongue. That is just... It warms the heart. It did slightly, yeah. After, <laughs> after how many times it hit that game, that was like the only time he parries it, and it, it wins. Yeah, sometimes so. that works. It Good adaptation, out. I guess. Yeah, and it works <laughs> out from a conditioning point. It's like sometimes, like you don't need to condition people by just like doing, uh, manipulating your position or your move choice. You can condition them by their own success in a lot of yeah, ways. Yeah, like, you definitely this can. This keeps working. Keep doing it, and then I'll kill you for it. Mm-hmm.